Mana isn't just about radical welcome. Mana is about having a sense of belonging, a place of belonging. It's about the community creating space for one another and loving one another and supporting one another. MANA is an acronym for Many Angels Needed Now and Always, named by the community itself. It's a community of unhoused people and unstably housed people that gathers in this space and our family to come together and check in and care for each other and worship together and cry together and laugh together. The ministry really has been about empowerment for people who experience powerlessness mostly in, in the world. We gather three days a week. We gather for a community meeting in the morning on Sunday before traditional church. Monday we have a Monday lunch and on Tuesday we have a writers group. As staff we kind of hold the space but the community is the people that create the community in the space. Any given day, whoever's coming in, they set the tone for, for the day. We spend a lot of time saying what, whatever is happening to each one of us and how we're feeling. It's very comfortable. People are beautiful here. They treat you with respect, which is hard to find sometimes. The last 18 months have been a little bit tough for this, the homeless community because there were not too many places to go. Uh, this place was open all the time, so we had a lot of uh, newcomers. Because we were one of the few places that kept our doors open, one of the only bathrooms in this area that was open, and the only hot meal um, practically in the city of Boston outside of a shelter system, people came here from all kinds of different places, which people experiencing homelessness don't usually do. So our community changed dramatically and we saw a huge influx of um, Latinx folks which was consistent with what was happening with COVID. You know we know that oppressed populations are populations that were sort of left out um, and didn't have good access to health care. People were getting sick, um, people lost jobs. It was huge housing instability. What felt important to us was to be able to embrace those folks, not just welcome them with so few people uh, that were even Spanish speaking. We really couldn't do that fully for them. So we applied for the grant to hire an intern that is not just a white person who speaks Spanish, but to find uh, somebody who can enculturate our folks uh, from a faith perspective. To embrace people is important to have somebody who looks like them and speaks their language and can understand their faith perspective. We want to incorporate our Hispanic folks in our worship through music, through um, liturgy, through food, and this grant will help us do that. I've been coming here for a while now. I help out as much as I can. It's like giving back a little bit what they gave to me which I like. Makes me feel good. We help everybody to recover and regrow. It's one of the places in my life that I have seen God's kingdom, I would say. Real people holding each other, loving each other, worshiping together. And as someone in formation, that, that gives me a lot of faith and hope.